We're making a short film in Unreal Engine. It's based on my sci-fi horror crossed with a spy thriller novel, Northport 1999. More information about how to audition at the end of the video. <laughs> Scary movie time! Today's behind the scenes development log is about how we're making the spooky forest environment for the short film. Starting with the largest element, we've got the landscape, which is based on the Lester Amity Park in Duluth, Minnesota. So, originally I went down a rabbit hole of trying to recreate the hype map of Duluth. I downloaded LiDAR scans of the region and imported them into Unreal Engine and made absolutely massive environments, so large that they didn't even fit in the default skybox. All right, let me drop in on this map. Whoa, this is big. Whoa, that's big. That's what she said. This is gigantic. I'm just falling forever. Holy moly, this is big. How am I even gonna find my way to the place I wanna go? I finally landed. And I realized that I was overdoing it. I was excited about something specific, which is an issue that happens with artists. We get excited by an idea and we fall down a rabbit hole and a day is gone. And then we go, hey, what do we really want? The truth is, for this first short film, I only need a couple hundred feet of trail. And it doesn't matter what the surrounding environment really looks like beyond what we can see. So I decided to generate the landscape the normal way and sculpt it by hand in Unreal Engine. Then I used an auto material for the landscape and that auto material has multiple layers, the top layer being grass and then underneath that is like a rocky layer that automatically applies itself to steep sloped areas of the landscape. Then we move on to the lighting. We got the directional light, the skylight, the volumetric clouds, the sky and atmosphere, and the exponential height fog. Then I also attached a rudimentary cone light to the, the third person blueprint so that I could get a sort of flashlight effect, one that we will be improving later. Then moving on to foliage. First, I did what you normally do in Unreal Engine and I painted the foliage by hand, trees and then bushes and then grass. But then I decided to learn about procedural content generation, which is a new feature in Unreal Engine 5.2. So in order to take advantage of that, I learned how to procedurally generate foliage. And I could select a large swath of the landscape and just press simulate and boom, all the trees arrive. That has at least 12 different types of trees, 10 different types of ferns, over 20 different types of grass. And so that is how I was able to procedurally generate a verdant and full lush forest biome. So then there's the path, which I could just sculpt in, but I decided I wanted to do a spline mesh because that is the best way to have the path interact with the procedurally generated foliage that I'd already created. So wherever you carve this path, the trees and foliage disappear and you can change the path later and it will automatically re-simulate. Um, I figured out how to do this by telling it to avoid, by making the spline meth pat, blah, 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 doesn't matter. So then there's the big props. First, we've got the light poles, which I kludged together from a handful of different assets from the Quixel Megascans asset library. Uh, for the pole, I just made a standard cylinder and I applied like a wood branch texture to it. I used a cement bollard for the bottom. I used a, a metal pole for, the, for a portion of the bottom of the pole just to give it an extra detail. We have an electrical box. We've got a metal pendant light. We've got a cone light and a point light hidden within the pendant light. And look at how freaking sweet this light pole looks. This trail, this series of lights. Mm. Oh, this is a sexy light pole. Mm. Oh no, that doesn't work. There's no light bulb. All right, so there we go. Drop in a sphere, add an emissive material. Damn, that is looking good. Simple little details that you can overlook. And then it's like, that looks stupid. And now it just 
blends right in. <sighs> nice. Then I grouped all of those meshes that came together as constituent parts to make the light pole. So that way I could just copy and paste and boom, they were all together. And then I copied and pasted and placed all the light poles. Then I made the signs. Again, I just used a few assets from the Quixel Megascans asset library to make kind of a trail sign for the welcome sign, I went into Apple Pages and I made a box with rounded corners and I chose the brown color and then I put white text over that and then I gave it a white border. And then using Krita, I got a brush that looks kind of like spray paint and I made red spray paint saying, beware of the face eater. Again, one of the key characters in our short film and in the book and uh we are casting voice actors for the face eater the creature so give us your scariest growl so then i printed out uh the graffiti as a png i basically pasted that over the sign exported all of those as a png brought those into unreal engine and made those into a texture and then i applied that to a rectangular static mesh as a decal. When I upload this PNG that I made of the sign with the graffiti over it, blah, 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 but then you apply and your material looks like crap because all the stuff that's supposed to be see-through, the alpha channel on the PNG, is not see-through. So it looks stupid. <laughs> I learned that you take the alpha channel and you connect that to opacity and click save, boom, Bob's your uncle. Again, the, the, the sign has a, a fluorescent light static mesh from Quixel, and inside that I put two cylinders with emissive materials on them to make them look like fluorescent tube lights. I duplicated the sign, and I made a second sign, which is the trail map, and for that I actually took the Lester Amity Creek trail system map from Duluth and I replaced the city of Duluth with the city of Northport. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you hated it, dislike, but please, it really helps if you subscribe and you hit the bell icon. If you enjoyed this video, you might like some of my other Unreal Engine content, uh, reacting to Unrecord and Unreal Winter. A lot of un. Unreal Engine, Unrecord, Unreal Winter. Say that 10 times fast. I made a video about how I put together my monster of a PC built specifically for Unreal Engine with an RTX 4090. Check that out. We are making a short horror film in Unreal Engine. The horror film is based on my novel, Northport 1999. We are currently hosting open auditions. Go to northportstory.com forward slash audition or go to the link in the description. We got at least six voice acting roles open to any level of experience. So go check it out. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.